Okay, there's a little bit more I wanted to say about my dictionary here. Um, so, it's got some nice definitions for words in here. And it also has this part in the middle of the book. Middle of the dictionary. Where it's got other stuff. So other information that you might want to look up in your dictionary. Here's a Eurasian lynx. So in the middle of the dictionary, there's reference pages. Okay, so there's a uh, a British and American terminology. <coughs> so there's some words that uh, have different meanings for English, American English, and uh, regular English. British, uh, like chips, the British called chips, what the British called chips uh, Ameri Americans call French fries, so that's that's kind of funny. Um, what's something else here? Oh, crisps. British call what the British call crisps. Americans call chips, potato chips. There's some, there's, there's quite a few though. There's, yeah, there's, uh, what the British call plaster or sticking plaster, Americans call band-aids. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, there's a few pages of just, uh, showing the, uh, difference between, uh, British, British, uh, English words and American English words. Um, and, and then there's a page where it shows uh, the uh, difference. Yeah, well, it's showing the whole thing. So it's showing the Arabic alphabet, uh, the Hebrew alphabet, the Greek alphabet, and the Russian alphabet. Chemical elements is on here too. Standard weights and measures with metric equivalents and conversions. The Mayflower Compact. Uh, Voices of the American Revolution. So it's got a few quotes um, from Jefferson, Patrick Henry, Samuel Adams, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington. So there's some quotes in here about from those famous people from the United States United States history. Uh, the Declaration of Independence is in here. The Constitution of the United States is in here. The amendments to the Constitution of the United States is in here. The Gettysburg Address and the New Colossus is in here. The Pledge of Allegiance. And it tells a little bit about the, the history behind the, ple the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't remember which hand it was supposed to be. Manner of delivery of the pledge of allegiance. Okay, and then and then it's um, and then there's uh, this section of the and then there's the section of the U.S. presidents in here too. So this just says um, 
Well, it says all the presidents up until Obama in here and uh, to their name, their nickname, like uh, George Washington. George Washington was the father of his country. That's his nickname in here. Um, and then, so they're when they were born and when they died, uh, where they were born and their party, <coughs> the Demo mostly Democrat and Republican, but there's also there were some Whigs and Federalists and their years in office and who their vice president was. And it also it also has um, like an aster an asterisk will mean that they died in office and there's a there's a cross that will mean uh, that they resigned. US Chief Justices landmark US Supreme Court cases and then there's um, kind of hard to see that uh, US states So it'll have the postal abbreviation, the capital. There's the state motto, like uh, Florida is in God we trust. Uh, state nickname, Heart of Dixie Yellowhammer State is Alabama. And then it's got the date of statehood and the order of statehood and if you're a resident it'll say like uh if you're from idaho you're an idahoan and then it has all the countries of the world uh so it'll say the capital and the continent or area <clears throat> and then nationality like so if you're if you're from Belgium, you're a Belgian, that sort of thing. And then the population at 2009 estimate of those places. And then, and then it's got world maps. So, here is the United Kingdom. Here is Australia. Here is a Mastiff. Here is Michelangelo. Okay, uh, I guess that's pretty much, pretty much it. It's a nice big dictionary. And I like that it has pictures in it too. And I like I really like the um, I like the part in the middle too. The reference pages. Like the maps and the US US presidents, all that stuff. So I really like that I got this dictionary. Cause when I'm reading, sometimes there's a lot of words that are unfamiliar or I just want to remind myself what they mean what the mean what the meaning uh, to the words are so sometimes when I'm reading it's it's like it's it's a little annoying so I'm like ah here's this word that like I've looked up before and I don't remember what it means so I have to look it up again <sighs> all right I guess that's it I really like having this nice big dictionary.